Here's the control panel for the um, model that we'll be working with in this exercise, which combines um, global energy and emissions uh, along with the global carbon cycle model and a global climate model. It's a bit complicated thing, but there are just a few controls here that you need to, to know about. There are in kind of different colors here, sectors to kind of control coal and oil and natural gas down in here. Um, this is where we can control the per capita energy history over time. And this is where we can control the population limit that's eventually reached. And this up here, this slider, is the starting time when some change to reduce the amount of coal, oil, or gas we use is implemented. So let me show you how this works. If you just run this the way it comes, um, without making any changes, you see this. It tells us the total emissions. This is in um, gigatons of carbon per year globally. And it shows that going up like this over time. right? Now, if I click on the next page, you'll see that, that um, in, in reality, um, at this time here, about uh, 2064, 2164, we would actually run out of fossil fuels. Here's the fossil fuel reservoir. It's dropping, dropping, dropping. It gets to zero. At that point, we can't put any more carbon in the air because we don't have any more of these fossil fuels. But this graph here, page one, shows what we would emit if we could, if we could actually tap into that amount. Anyway, we'll be looking at both of these graphs a little bit. Let me show you how this works. If we, we want to say, let's let's try to reduce um, the amount of our energy that's supplied by coal. So we switch to that. And this is the coal reduction time. So, so beginning in the year 2020, and for the next 30 years, we're going to reduce coal by, let's say, let's reduce it by 10%. Um, so currently... Coal, if you, if you look at this, it's making up 27% of our mix of, of uh, energy sources. So if we reduce it by 10, then it'll be making up 17. Now, the 10 that we reduce uh, coal by is going to add to the renewables down in here, which is currently 0.19. So this is a whole bunch of things, hydro, solar, wind, uh, nuclear, biomass, all lumped together. So if we take from one of these fossil fuel uh, sources, we're going to uh, add it to the renewables here. So let's, let's implement this change. Let's see what happens. There we go. See, so we've brought the emissions down quite a bit. And in this case, um, let's see, there's, we don't run out of fossil fuels for a little bit later here. So uh, let's see if we can get it so we don't run out of fossil fuels. Let's reduce the amount of oil we use by 10%. See if that does it. And this, there, we just run out at the very, very end here. Okay, so um, you see what happens there. Now this is this is connected to a global carbon cycle model. The fossil fuels is part of that. It's also collected connected to a climate model. And so, if we were to um, click through all these different pages in the graph pad, you can see all these little parameters plotted here. Um, Here's the global temperature change, and we see that, that uh, we have increased the temperature by about 6.5 degrees by the year 2020 out in here. So 2100 is in here, 2010 is our starting time here. So if we turn these switches off, then we um, are not going to um, restrict our use of fossil fuels for an energy so source, and we'll just continue with this um, this mix that's indicated here, the initial fractions. Now, there are a couple of other things that you can change here. You can change the population limit by uh, moving this dial around, more or less people, 12 is this sort of the default value. You can also change the per capita um, energy graph here. So if you look at that, this, this actually is a little funny. It goes from the year 2010 right here, let's call that the present. And this line over here, this vertical line is the year um, 2,200. So there are five divisions in there for that 190 years. So each one of those is 38 years. So this vertical line here is a year 2048 and, and so on. You just keep adding um, 38 years to figure out you know which, which time each of those vertical lines corresponds to. Um, you can change this graph. It starts off at 74 and what we're assuming is it's going up at its kind of current pace but then it levels off up here eventually by the end of this. Um, but you could uh, take a, a more optimistic view and say, well, we're going to become more um, 
conservative in our use of energy and more efficient, and we'll reduce it to a lower level, and we can follow a trajectory like that. And you hit OK, and then that will be implemented, and you'll see what effect that does. You can undo that change by clicking on this U down here. And um, you, you, let's say you've made a lot of changes and you've made a lot of graphs, you can reset the graphs or you can restore all the devices to their kind of default uh, values here. All right, so that's it. Uh, have fun with it.